reasons you haven't seen Twitch so far in this tournament as far as the laning phase is concerned. So the Caitlyn makes the most sense. It's actually incredibly similar to the team composition the Rock. And in this, they're still giving up first turret. Even if they stay, they're likely to be giving up first turret. Clear Love still level five and he's caught. Caught out with Chain CC. First Blood comes through the flash into the kick for Peanut. Gets it down for himself. The re-engage by Scout means. Whimper of us. Oh, this is rough stuff right now for Koro. You've got the rest of the team coming in for him, and it's a 3v1. Nowhere to go. Good bye to Kennen. But now the re-engage on the bot side. Prey gets one on a Mako. A trade kill for Clear Love. Something finally on the board for Edward Gaming. Not a complete shutout. And Scout wants in as well. Lands the rune prison. Spiraling in past the minions, and they're going to block the rest of the skill shot. So nothing game else. Just absolutely broken the game apart. They're doing so a little bit earlier. The flash engage on Nakoro. More CC to follow. Not even a chance from the runaway with his life. It's going to be the last hit on the peanut. Why not secure another one? Two, zero, and one here for the jungler. Rock Tiger is getting farther and get everywhere they go. They had the early tracker's knife. They've upgraded to the maximum Sister on Gorilla, and they always have the aggressive wards that let them make plays like this. The kick is in. The chase through as well. Mako's going to survive. Got to land the root in a peanut, but there's just not enough damage to deal. Clear Love really wants in, though. Can he get the attacks? He's going to go for the only oh! nice dodge from Peanut. Still alive somehow, but Scout's there with a vengeance. Now on to Kuro they go. The Root's going to land. A couple more shots should do it, but he's tanky enough. Right. He lands the stun. He might kill off Clear Love, but no. Now he's in the danger zone. This could be enough, and no, it's still going to be the one picked up. Nicely played by Kuro to get away. The Viking oh, getting on the bottom side. Gorilla getting a ton of damage across on this one. Kuro going to lose his life as well, and that is the ace for one. Beautifully played by Rox Tigers. With Zyra, who's tanking a lot of the damage from Baron for them. The crazy thing in all of this is that I think the Aurelian Soul is the one champion that has thrown EDG's pick and ban off. They thought they could keep Kuro in lane wave clearing. It didn't work, but Baron time. The Baron's already been picked up, but maybe this is the fight that every game he needs. Exhaust on right in time, and it's already one kill picked up. Make that two. Baron's gone. One trade kill, but it's a four versus three, and it might just get worse. The snipe gonna come through. Gonna tag Mako in the back below 1,000 HP. Smeb is taking the long way around to cut off the retreat. And there's nowhere to go. Depth gets shut down once again. Peanut gets that kill. Now Mako also rooted up against the wall. A double kill for the Rocks Tigers jungler. It's four for one. Not even a problem right now. Rocks Tigers. Let's watch Rocks work. One more attempt to try to keep the game alive. Edward Gaming going for the roll. Right. Moro gets in without the exhaust. This time around, a shutdown comes through. They got prey. The knockup already came in. 4v4. How much more gonna happen? Sveb is invincible, as we know. 4v3 is another kill comes through. Now Death caught out. Oh. There's the stars. There's the kills. Clear love gets a bit of a terrify, but has to run for dear life. Sveb gonna drop the turret. I can put it on the peanut. By the way, only Clear Love left alive. Now, yes, Prey was killed, but it does not matter. Oh. Another flash kick for Peanut. Secures the ace. 5-1 five, and 5 on the Lee Sin. And Rox Tiger is going to make it a swift 2-0. And very high kills for Rox Tigers. They averaged 18 kills per game in the group stage, but this was 18 kills in a much faster and more dominant fashion. Rox Tigers is going to go 2-0. People have their pre preconceived notions about what Korean League of Legends looks like. You see SKT, you see Samsung, you see the controlled play. That's not Rox Tigers. These guys build damage. These guys dive towers. Their Baron power plays are massive. And when they start going 15 minutes on, they end the game before 30 more often than not. And they definitely didn't start the tournament this way. Nope. So we really have to credit their ability to prepare and adapt in the week between the group stage and now. Because as you mentioned, Papa 